How's it going, guys? Dre here, and today I'm starting to lose my mind. I have done a lot of digging off recording. Actually, the most digging I've ever done between two episodes, and we have four washouts that we actually have to clean out right now, and I'm hoping... We're gonna have to get really lucky, but I'm hoping with that money we can buy the next land claim. Uh, I really wanted to get to that in this episode, I don't know if I will or not, though. Oh, great, and now the thunderstorms are back. So, yeah, for whatever reason, when it comes near winter, very rarely it's blue skies, so I thought I would introduce right now because it was nice out. Clearly, it didn't last too long. Uh, but, yeah, you missed a lot of mining. Now, actually, this Frankenstein used to be right near the wall, so I pushed back basically all the way down, all the way down here, and I've been kind of focusing on the tall mountain now. I've, I've dug a little bit of it out. You can actually see some dirt there, and I've been wrapping around this mountain. Mountain, uh, and I'm a little worried. The dirt over here was amazing, but going back to this mountain area, uh, I don't know if we're gonna have a very good cleanout or not because the moss mats don't look that good. But regardless, we're gonna do the biggest cleanout we've done yet. Uh, I've put lots of dirt through our system, and we have four cleanouts that we have to do all at once. I think the max we've ever done was three, so. Hopefully this is a lot of gold. We're gonna need a lot of gold if we want to buy the next land claim. If we don't get it today, though, obviously we'll be getting it in the next episode at least. I just want to get it before winter. We have three days left, and then we have, I think, ten days till permafrost, so we still have a little bit of time, uh, which is good, but I'd rather just sleep throughout winter than dealing with freezing waters because it's very annoying. It's also harder on the equipment. I don't know if you know that. Oh, that's right. I didn't actually clean this out yet either. So, yeah, we have another clean out we have to do down here, but I think I got three up here, and I've run out of moss mats again. So, yeah, we got quite a bit here, as you can see. So, I really hope this is good, but as you can see by the moss mats, they don't look that dirty, and that's usually an indicator on how good the dirt is. Uh, we had a few good ones, like this guy right down here is real good, but most of it's pretty dry looking. So, I, I'm not too optimistic about this cleanout. Regardless, we pushed a lot of dirt through the system, so we should get a lot of gold anyways. I'm just worried that this mountain really isn't going to pay as much as I thought it would. Now, actually, looking at these, you can see this is a normal cleanout from what I've seen lately. And I think we just had a really good one. If you look down here, these are way dirtier. I haven't actually seen this in a while. So, maybe I finally got into the gold that was in the mountain. I know we had to push through the dirt a little bit to get to the gold. And I think we finally hit it here. And... Maybe at the end of this cleanout, we might get a really good payday here, because these ones look real good. This is exciting. Okay, it's cleaned out, and man, I have never seen this much stuff over here. So yeah, I literally have <laughs> crates worth of moss mats behind an already pile of them. I've used every bucket. I don't think I've ever used every bucket before, but I mean, even... Oh, actually, crap, I don't have any buckets for the moss mats now. I mean, I guess technically I could do these first, but I like doing it all at the same time. And honestly, buckets are so cheap. I, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be real stingy if I uh, didn't buy a five dollar bucket with 1.25 million in the bank. So yeah, let's go buy a couple buckets and do all the gold at the same time. Well, I should honestly only need a couple buckets anyways, so I guess we'll just have to uh, push a little bit of dirt through the system. At least we'll get a good indication on how good this dirt's gonna be as well. Uh, so we're gonna start this up. Everything's looking good to me. And, uh, yeah, I guess we'll throw a couple buckets in right now. All right, but there we go, the first bucket. I have no idea what any of these buckets are, so it's all going to be a surprise. This might be a great one. It might not be a, too good of a one. Now, also, as you can see, we have 2,000 grams of gold in the bank right now. I actually got really lucky before recording. Found a 1,000-gram nugget, and I did do a little bit of a cleanup beforehand, too. All right, 795 grams of magnetite. That's not really that good at all. I mean, I don't know. It's hard to tell. I don't think it's going to be too good, though. Oh, man. Might be some dry ground, man. I, I I feel bad whenever I'm on try. Wow, this is really dry ground. My brain just goes on autopilot whenever I do this because I've done it so much. But uh, yeah, that's not a good sign, guys. I really hope we 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 got through that dry ground and hopefully we get to better ground. Obviously, the first cleanout was not a good clean. That 50. 50 I I've had like 90 and thought that was bad. Oh, there's another 50 right here. Getting 1.8 million, which is what we need. I don't know if I mentioned that, by the way, by the way, but we need 1.8 million for the next uh, land. I don't know if that's going to be within reach now. We're going to need to do a lot of dirt or get extremely lucky here. Okay, 5,000 grams of magnetite. This is obviously not a planter bucket, and this one might actually be pretty good then. We can kind of see what the rest of the systems are going to get. I guess I'll do one more bucket. 
monsters. We're gonna need quite a few. I mean, we have a lot of monsters to clean out. I'm getting PTSD. Trying to organize these things is just the worst. I don't know if I should put them on the shelves or if we're gonna have to use them again. Because I think we're gonna have to do a, another four cleanouts here if we want to get the 1.8 million. 370 Gs, that's not great at all, but at least it's, it's a bigger number. <laughs> Well, I gotta say, I'm glad I didn't come into this one being optimistic about our gold yields. Like I said at the start, I warned you guys, uh, this one's probably not looking too good. Now, these are our final mats. Usually, as a rule of thumb, an average cleanout will give me a little bit more than a bucket in the gold nuggetator. Uh, we haven't even got it a bucket per, unless this last one gives me 45%, which these were actually really dirty, so it might, but... I don't even know if we're gonna get four buckets. I very rarely do I get under a bucket for a full cleanup. And like I said, we've done four, so. Ooh, it's actually gonna be close. It's going faster than usual, that's for sure. But yeah, I don't. Ooh. It's gonna be so close. And. Okay, we got, sorry, 3% over four buckets. Wow. I mean, regardless, we got a lot of money in the bank. Everything's totally fine right now. And uh, we should earn quite a bit of money here. Just maybe not as much as I hoped for. Uh, so, yeah, let's start cleaning this out. Obviously, I'll just edit this down. And uh, whatever interesting buckets that do happen, hopefully at least there's a couple of them, uh, you guys will see. <laughs> 43? 43? What the hell? I am on the driest ground I've been on in so long. 28 grams of magnetite. Where'd that come from? Um, oh, I just filled up the other bucket. That's right. I had another bucket here. But yes, the second planter just yielded us 43. That is the driest ground I've ever done. Why did I decide to go back over to the mountain? We were in a good spot. I was just kind of bored over there, so I thought we would move. Clearly, that was a bad idea, because now we're getting 1681 grams of magnetite. That means this is not a planter bucket, and that is not much magnetite at all for any other bucket. So, this is going to be extremely depressing, I think. Great! Well, I was hoping for 10,000 grams. We're not even going to get close to that. Unless the final two are amazing, we're not getting anywhere near that. 120 grams of gold in my account. That was a non-planter bucket. I'm usually upset when I get 120 grams in a planter bucket. What the hell? Well, guys, I I I can't even think right now. I <laughs> all I can do is laugh because uh, the highest bucket I had through that whole thing was 140 grams. That's that that's a that's an average planter bucket where we were mining before. Actually, that'd be a pretty good planter bucket. Let's be honest here, but still. What the frick? That included the top grade buckets. My only saving glory is these are the moss mats. I saved them for the last. I, I assume this one's gonna be depressing as well, but we'll wait for it. Let's put the moss mats through. Now, obviously, I don't think there's any magnetite in the moss mat buckets, but I'll just do the first one anyways, just, just for good luck. 43 grams. 40, what is this, like episode one? And that is why you focus on where the ground is good. Now, I know on that mountain behind it, as I've said a million times, there's really good ground. I thought I would get through the bad ground, uh, but yeah, that's that that's not true. Okay, so there is magnetite in the uh, moss mat. I don't know why I thought there wasn't. Anyways, that wasn't much magnetite for a moss mat bucket, but this should at least be more than 140. Man, I gotta be honest, I basically have my bags packed. I thought we would get away from this place. Don't get me wrong, I love this area, but uh, it's been probably a hundred hours of mining for me and a few episodes for you so yeah 282 the great just fan freaking tastic i'm so glad for that no i'm not <laughs> my goal was 10,000 grams 10,000 would have gave me 400 grand that would have put me at 1.65 and i would have had to get a really small loan now i could still get a rather large loan if i wanted to I don't know. We're going to have to go see the interest rates. I also got to worry about uh, buying the vehicle slots on the new mine site. So it's not just 1.8 million that I need. I'm going to need a little bit more than that. There we go. Holy crap. I just saw four. That's exciting. That is exciting compared to what I've been dealing with. I mean, there's nothing sadder than working for three hours and getting what used to take me an hour. Not even an hour. 45 minutes probably. 
All right, 7,000 grams of magnetite. Now we're getting somewhere. This ain't too bad now. It's too bad we're on our last bucket because uh, I, I, I could have some more of this. Please give me more of this. I need this. That was so much work. Uh, let me just make sure. Yes, I cleaned this out, by the way. So that's all our gold. We got the final bit going through. 30% of magnetite through four cleanouts. That's pretty damn sad. Ooh, that last bucket's not good at all either. So this is our only good bucket. And there we go. At least we got one in the fives. Five would have been average before. Now that, that that's amazing for me compared to the 140 bull crap, 42 gram bull crap that I was dealing with. All right, so at least we got 5,000 grams. Not, not, not the 10 I want. <laughs> oh God, the struggle is real, man. The struggle is real. Okay, what's the ending total? 226 and 5,622. All right, let's go see how much money we're working with now. It's, I think that's gonna be an extra maybe 200 grand. So that's great. Oh, uh, why does this beautiful vein, like this right here is what I've been trying to get at. Look at all this gold. It's just, w just slightly without range. So that's pretty much all the local ones. I'm actually curious where these top ones are too. Uh, so yeah, obviously the more yellow the square, the, the bigger the yields on the ground. So I just wanna see what we're looking at right now. That should be the majority of them. And yeah, it's just, we're so close. I can smell the gold, but <laughs> all this ground here is just so damn dry. So yeah, I could obviously, this is where I've been targeting the gold as you can clearly see. Um, I could have focused on going on this side. Maybe I should because there's actually a few good spots here that will at least get me quick gold uh, because still trying to, Trying to push back a wall this big, you move like a millimeter every time you put the plow on it. So even though this seems really close, that's probably two to three cleanouts right there uh, before I actually get into the gold. So yeah, I think if we're gonna have to stay here, I'm still deciding if I wanna get a giant loan or not. I think we're gonna go back to over on this side where I probably should have stayed because uh, we did actually get to this area. I just kind of left it. I don't even know why I left it. That's right, because I just got bored and I wanted to go to the other side. There was good gold over there for the longest time, but clearly it is all mined out now. That that low ground is no longer good. This right here, we should at least get this. I mean, that's just there for the taking. Oh, oh, what the frig? Uh-oh. 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 Uh -oh. Okay. <laughs> Usually it respawns me by uh oh, it usually respawns me by now. Please respawn me. I don't I don't want to be down here. Okay okay, <laughs> damn it! Now I gotta drive all the way back there. That was weird though. It went like black and white that time. Also very rarely with the new uh, a area that I go to or through, uh, does the ground not load in? We've had that issue in the past, but not where I'm going now. What the? Heck? It's really laggy now. I clearly have broken my game. Great. Okay. Well, here we are. Let's, uh... Oh, well, there we go. At least at least we got some positivity here. Positivity here. Uh, gold's never been better. Well, at least since the last... Well, let's actually check the year. Yeah, it's actually top of the year right now. Right before winter. I wonder if it's always before winter. Um, day 38. It looks like we're kind of around there as well. So, yeah. I'm thinking if you do want to be strategic, sell it during the winter time. Uh, we're, we're not strategic at all, though, so there we go. Oh, man. Uh, two and a half bars, basically. That's all we got out of this. Still, I mean, it's a decent amount of money, but that puts me up just under 1.5. And just to make sure the parcel that I want is the next one, Pine Valley, that's 1.8 million. I could lease it, obviously, but then I lose the vast majority of my, my profits due to the landowner, and I really don't want to do that. So... The other option is to get a loan. I would need at least 500,000, actually probably more than that. And let's actually do six for good luck. I mean, I'm the bank trusts me so much now. I could just get a ridiculous loan if I wanted to, but I'm not gonna do that. So yeah, let's just say, just to play it safe, I would need, actually I probably need more like 700. Cause I really wanna play it safe. You gotta remember, I gotta buy those vehicle slots and everything and those take a lot of money. So with a crazy amount of installments and a crazy amount of interest, the daily payment would be just absolutely crazy for the little that I need. I mean, we just pulled 300,000 out of the ground in a day. It would take me two days to get what this loan gives me. 
I mean, well, a little bit more than that, depending on how lucky I am. Yeah, ah, man. See, I, I always like having a, a highlight in every episode, and I really did want to get to the next land claim today, but, I mean, you can only get what you get out of the ground, and sometimes the ground doesn't like you, and that's today. Well, if this is a bad clean-out, I'm gonna be extremely mad, because I tried my best to target the best of dirt, and uh, we actually mined out that first full square. We're kind of halfway through the second square. I also mined a little bit in the back there. Uh, so this all should be, I mean, at least according to my drill sites, which could be a lie. I feel like at this point, maybe they are a little bit of a lie. Uh, this all should be really good dirt. I really hope it is. Now, we have a full uh, setup right now. I'm just finishing up the final of my Frankensteins. But yeah, we got 100% in the other Frankenstein and 100% in uh, the uh, drop-off zone as well. But well, mine is the gold plant is uh, obviously extracting all this stuff too. God, I really hope this is really good, <laughs> good dirt though. I was all happy today thinking, you know, well, we should be on good dirt, but of course it never is. All right, we're at 94. This is 8%, so that would be over filling this. I don't want to waste any of this gold because we're running out of it, man. All right, so everything's all set up. We also have these in place quite well. Hey, look how small they are when they're not extended. It's kind of cute. But yeah, as you can see, 100% in that as well. And uh, I cleaned this thing out. There's actually a bunch of dirt still in the system, and I just let it go through. I didn't want to deal with a bad clean out once again. Uh, I think we have a little bit of a bucket from the top grates, but that's about it. All right, so I guess, yeah, let's get it started. And God, please give me, give me a good payday. I don't, I don't care if we can't buy the new site. I just need one good payday. Let's let's end this area off on a bang. Well, guys, uh, I hope the coloration of the mats isn't an indicator. We got a few dark ones, as you can see, uh, but it's a mixture of good and bad ones. So I don't know what to tell you. If this isn't good pay dirt, I, I tried my best. I really did pinpoint the uh, dirt and uh, did my best today. Five cleanouts. That's absolutely crazy for one episode. Uh, looking actually pretty good, 40%. We don't even have a full thing in here. This is all just the small guys. Okay, that's exciting. 40, 43% with just that. Ooh, this could be a good payday. Also, I, I love how it's always storming whenever I'm doing this. It's like hell is telling me it's, it's, it's going to give me payback for ripping up the earth or something. Or I guess God in, the, in this sense. All right. God, please give me a good payday. I just, I really need this now. I need all the help I can get. I, I didn't really organize these very well, so ooh, that's scary, though. If that's not a planter bucket, that's not a lot of magnetite. So now I'm, I'm, I'm back to being nervous, because if that's the top bucket, what the hell? Where's the gold? Like, even when I look for it, it's not there. Oh. Oh, it is a planter bucket. Okay. I'm just so used to not seeing it in the thousands. This is exciting. 137? Man, it's been a while since it was that high. From 42 to 137. Okay, now I'm excited again. <laughs> I was being way too negative there. Okay, there is all the magnetite. Or sorry, not magnetite, the planter bucket. So now we're on to the big boys. Well, two of them, and we got one small bucket at the end. Uh, ooh, uh oh, don't leg me out, bucket. Jesus. Oh, how much magnetite are we going to get? So yeah, not bad. Just the planter buckets alone have yielded me over 500 grams. We're going to get a little bit more than that, obviously. And... Ooh, that's actually not amazing considering what was in the planter buckets. Uh, a little over 5,000 grams of magnetite. Uh, let's see. If we can get a 500 bucket, I'll be happy. I mean, I'll, I'll, my, my goal was to get 1,000. I think we're easily going to get 1,000 at least. All right, here's the final good bucket. Oh, yeah, we're definitely hitting 1,000 at least, so I'm happy. At least we got that. That's over 40 grand in the bank right here. So really was worth it to move that thing around. And 414 grams right there. And this is an even better bucket. This is the big boy. All right, even that little guy had 2,000 grams of magnetite. So this is going to be a good couple buckets here. This one a little better than the other one. 600, finally in the sixes. We've seen much better than that, but uh, not not in the last little bit. So uh, it feels good, man. It feels good to at least end off on a good note. Uh, we're going to go check out that new claim site, like I said, just to, you know, window shop and kind of strategize where we want to place everything. Uh, but yeah, there we go. We got a little bit more money in the bank, and we should be well on our way to getting that new uh, claim site within, hopefully, winter time. 
Worst case, I might have to deal with frozen ground for a little bit, but we should be okay as long as we're in the pit. I don't even know if we have to worry about frozen ground if we're not technically on the ground. All right, where, where's my truck? I need to go. I don't even know where we're going. We're going to have to go find this place because I haven't actually been there. I think I was there my original run. Uh, I think that was the last place that I bought. Seriously, where's my truck? But I haven't been there in a long time, obviously. Okay, you know what? I'll just go to the map. I can never find my truck. I always misplace it. Seriously, where? Okay, it's way at the e entrance. Well, this is exciting. I'm going down a road I've never really gone down before. Well, obviously, we went to the blacksmith, but uh, we never actually passed this. There's actually a totem village right over here. I don't know why I've never actually just explored the map. Is this totem village? Oh, yeah, that would make sense. I didn't even notice the giant totem poles. Jesus. Um, is there anybody there? Just out of morbid curiosity. I mean, you never know. I've seen cows moving now, so at least we know there's some moving things on this map. And maybe we should have an episode where we just explore, because there's a lot of little little places like this that I've seen. I've just never really gave them the time of day. Oh, huh. what the frick is... You found a new part of the story. Okay, so yeah, there's a whole storyline here, and you can find all the parts. Clearly, I just found one. Uh, it doesn't look like we knew much here. I mean, it's a cool little totem place, though. Oh, don't tell me. I literally can't go in. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm going to get in if it's the last thing I do, damn it. Hold on. Hold on here. Okay, I honestly, this might have been the one that we skipped, because I remember with the other one, it wrapped around, and then you had to go down, and then all this stuff was on this side of the claim site. It looks like on this one, it's all over here. So, I can kind of see this is obviously where we put our gold plant. I'm just trying to think where I want to put my washout. Maybe right here? Or there's a little building down here. Damn it, I didn't think it would actually be closed until we bought it. That's no fun. Can we, can we hack this thing? All right, yeah, unfortunately, there's an in, in, invisible wall here, too. So even if we tried to get around it, we wouldn't be able to. Uh, so, yeah, I guess we'll have to wrap up this one here. You at least got a glimpse at what's going to happen in the next episode. We'll definitely move on to this one. It looks like there's a lot of dirt we can get, and it's much more open over here. It's, it's going to be much more brighter. And uh, I'm excited, man, because I've been at my other claim for, what, months now, it feels like. And, uh, yeah, it's exciting that we're finally going to move on to some new ground. But yeah, we'll have to wait till the next one. I was hoping to do it today, guys, but you know, the, the ground gods just were not with us today. But yeah, as always, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for your support. I hope you guys are enjoying the Gold Rush series. And yeah, if you have any suggestions, I'm always reading those comments. Let me know in the comments below. And yeah, as always, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.